Hello everyone. It's another cloudy day in New Jersey and today I thought I would make a bunch of little projects. <laughs> so I have been saving a bunch of free patterns on Instagram. Um, I will link everything down in the description. Uh, they are all just tiny little guys and they're so cute. So I have over, over 20 or maybe even 30, I'm not sure but I want to try to get as many done as possible. Um, and probably I'll stop when I'm like, I don't wanna do this anymore. That's when I'll stop. So let's see how many I can do. So I think I'm gonna just crochet here on my dining table. The first one that I'm gonna make is this one. I don't know if it's focusing. But yeah, this one says no so on it. It's like a sleeping goose. It's very cute. So I want to start with that one. And the two colors that I, I just have lying around are these. Um, I do have like a solid white, but I kind of don't really want to use that one yet. So this one, I was just thinking maybe it'll be like a speckled goose and it'll be cute. So yeah, and then this will be my orange. So let's get started. By the way, I have actually fully removed my cozy corner from right here because I am thinking I really want like a big standing mirror. And I was thinking I might put it on this wall. And then on that wall, uh, I wanna do like a coffee station so that I could clear out my kitchen a little bit. But that cozy corner has actually moved into our bedroom and yeah, just in the corner of my bedroom. I just put on a little jacket because I got a little cold. But here is my first one finished. It's a little long neck goose. Yay! <laughs> I really like it. I'm just, I'm really hoping that these little things I'm making don't just become like cat toys because <laughs> I don't think my cats will leave these things alone. But yeah, this is the first one. On to the next. So I just took a very long break from crocheting because I got really busy. But I do want to do at least two, two little critters before I go to sleep today. So I finished that goose one. And my next one that I want to do, very simple, um, hopefully very quick <laughs> one is called the octopus. So for the teacup, I'm going to use this blue. Um, I cut my finger so I have like a little <laughs> band-aid on um, that and for the tea this is the best I can find <laughs> so it'll be a very milky tea like a milk tea in a little teacup very cute uh, uh yeah hopefully I can finish this <laughs> within the out within the hour that's what I'm gonna try so here we go This took me about 37 minutes, I think, <laughs> but oh, uh, I ran out of yarn. <laughs> if I can just make the little handle like this, ta-da, that's a teacup. <laughs> I might just have to do a different color handle, I guess, but look at it, it's cute. <laughs> So I found this thing and I think I'm just going to unravel it and use it for the handle. Here it is. This is the octopus. <laughs> octopus. I kind of love this one a lot. I think it looks cuter than the picture. I love this a lot. It's so cute. <laughs> oh man, I'm gonna decorate my whole corner with like tiny little... I can't, I can't. My cats will take them and play with them. But yeah, it's very late now. I'm gonna wash up and go to sleep, so see you tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. Oh man, I 
I am not feeling well today. I woke up with a sore throat and I'm starting to really feel it. So I'm just gonna take a bunch of vitamin C to try to not get more sick later. Um, I, I need to make sure I'll be able to sing on Sunday because I'm supposed to sing at church. Um, but if this gets worse, I'm gonna have to call out. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, aside from that, I think um, I'm going to take it easy. I'm going to try to crochet some stuff. But the good thing is that crocheting doesn't take a lot of energy, you know. I'm just going to chill out and crochet and see how many little guys I can make today. <laughs> so the next pattern I'm going to try to make next little plushie i don't know why i keep trying to show my phone on there i'll just show you guys <laughs> on the screen is this little dandelion lion thing i think it's like the cutest thing i've ever seen it's um the best idea dandy the lion like and the colors it's just so cute yeah I, um so i have my yellow this new yellow yarn that i bought for um sneak peek of like next videos and stuff i want to make a pikachu so this one that's for pikachu <laughs> but i'm gonna use that for the dandelion and this white one for the flower petals and then this green that i still have from all my flower stuff for the body so here we go <laughs> A little bean <laughs> just the little tail the little snout and the little mane and we'll be done with this one okay, I see the train dandy the lion is finished look at the bean so cute. <laughs> I think this is like the cutest lion pattern out there. Cause I, I, I just love the idea of the dandelion. Yeah, I, I have no idea where I'm gonna put these like tiny plushies, but <laughs> he'll have to go somewhere cause he's very cute. So I actually took a pretty long break because I'm, I'm really feeling unwell. <laughs> um, but I do want to get at least two little plushies done today. So my number four will be this stingray pattern, which I will show on the screen because by my fourth pattern, I have learned, I, I'm not going to show you from my phone. So this stingray, stingrays are not usually thought to be very cute, but this creator has done a great job. It's super cute. So I will make sure that I finish this one today so that I can, I can do two for two, two per day for two days, two for two. All right, so I moved over to this area because it is getting very dark outside because it's raining. Yet another cloudy day. Um, but yeah, so here are the colors that I'm going to be working with. So this will be like the belly. It's just like a little beige color. And then this one will be like the main body. And I'll use just white to do like the detailing on the back. Um... Hmm. Using this color for the body might mean that I don't have any other pink for the blush. Which is 
I do have a red. I do have a red. I, I will make the blush red. And it'll become like a Valentine's Day stingray. Cute. Let's get started. So I found out later that the original designer of this pattern is actually selling this pattern on Etsy. And the pattern that I found on Instagram is someone else crediting the original designer and pretty much giving away the pattern for free, which I think is very unethical. So the link in description will be to the Etsy product and not the Instagram post for this one, which means this pattern is not for free. <laughs> Sorry about that one. So a quick gaming update that no one asked for. Uh, I just recently finished Nino Kuni 2, which was really fun. I, I had a great time with it. Um, after finishing it though, I probably won't go back to it because there are so many other games. <laughs> and the next games that I'm thinking about are um, Coral Island and Hogwarts Legacies. So both those games I already started like a long time ago, but I stopped playing them for whatever reasons. <laughs> but I really do want to get back into both those games. I don't know which one though. So I'm, I'm, I'm debating between the two for my next, um, next game. But the thing about Coral Island is that I can kind of just like get back into it whenever. It's like easy to get back into. But Hogwarts Legacies is more like story based. So it might be harder to like hop back into after a long time. So if, I, if I'm gonna start that, I will have to try to play it through, you know, in, in without having a bunch of breaks in between. So yeah, there's my gaming update that no one asked for. <laughs> Blushing Stingray. Very cute. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. So it's a great morning for me because I feel so much better than yesterday. <laughs> yesterday, I was just so worried because I was thinking, oh man, if this drags on for a whole week, because that happens to me, I have a bunch of events over this weekend. Um, it's actually Easter weekend, so lots of things to do. <laughs> but great thing, I feel so much better today, so with feeling better, I am hoping to be able to finish, um, hopefully three projects. <laughs> so I do have some in my mind right now. I want to do an elephant and I want to do maybe a sloth, maybe, and then maybe like an axolotl or something. So yeah, I think the axolotl is like no so, so it'll be, It'll be less of a hassle for me <laughs> to to make. Um, please excuse my messy looking hair for this whole day because I tried to see if my hair will keep a natural curl and it's just ending up looking a little frizzy or something. Yeah, it'll, it'll look like this for the whole day. <laughs> so yeah, um, I think it's the morning, it's like 9.30. I want to make myself a banana milk, so I'm going to do that before we begin. So I've been making myself a banana milk a lot for breakfast now and it's great for breakfast because bananas really fill you up and milk, you know? 
um, but I did add a little bit of sugar because I thought my bananas were a little bit not ripe enough that it would be super sweet. So yeah, but it tastes really good now. So I have my whole setup here. I have all of my hooks and safety eyes and I got my iPad here today so I can, you know, be kept company. <laughs> I'm gonna watch some stuff. And here are my yarns for my number first project of the day, which is the elephant that I said earlier. Um, yeah, hopefully the feet will be flat like in the picture so that it'll like stand up and be really cute. So I have this very light gray yarn. I think I think this is gonna work for the elephant and I have a bunch of it. It's very big here, so. And then I found this tiny little ball of white. So I'm pretty sure I will run out of this <laughs> during the elephant, but I mean, it's good to use up yarn. So I'm gonna try to use this up and probably move on to a different white yarn after that. But yeah, here we go. I had just enough to do the ears and maybe I can do the toes with this. This never happens, yay! <laughs> all right, so it's about noon and I have all the pieces ready for the elephant. I just have to sew it and add some details. So uh, weirdly, this pattern did not tell you where to put the eyes before, before you can't really get in there anymore, <laughs> so. I guess the safety eyes will kind of have to just be not secure, but that's okay. No one's gonna like pull it out or anything, but I'll do this after I eat lunch. So we've moved over to the couch and I am ready to start making my sloth, which I'm thinking of making with blue and then regular face colors. So these are for my sloth and I brought over a little snack for myself, cheese and crackers. And let's go. I'm not feeling 100% better yet. I'm feeling things in my sinuses and it's like that kind of feeling where it still feels like it could get bad. So I'm just gonna make myself a little hot tea. So while I'm making my tea, I'll show you what I've been drinking recently. So this thing, I I tried it for the first time when I went to like this big pet expo. Um, we went there and they had a booth and they had a bunch of like samples there and I tried a few and I really liked this one. And later I found out on their website that this is a bestseller. So I bought one and I finished it and then I bought a, another I bought these two. Oops. I bought these two from their website just recently, and these came in just yesterday. So, yeah, what I really like about these is that, first of all, they taste good, and in the in the little sachets they have like honey granules, so. It, it already sweetens your tea. It, it's not like too sweet. It's just like kind of a little bit in there. Um, but yeah, it, it makes it taste really good. 
<laughs> so when when I was running out, I was like, oh no, should I buy it online? Should I get it online? And then I caved. <laughs> I got two legs. <laughs> so I I might keep returning for these. These are really good, in my opinion. And the great thing about it is that they're caffeine free. So like when you're sick, when you're feeling kind of like me, caffeine is probably not good for you. But this tea, I'm going to keep drinking because I love it. Yeah, my first bag of that lavender lemonade, man, I was drinking one to two tea bags a day which is a lot <laughs> um but i couldn't stop it was just so good yeah that's why yesterday that's why i was trying to hold out until i received this in the mail uh but i couldn't and that's why i caved and i drank my black tea that i had even though like i said caffeine isn't really good for me right now but yeah, I added some honey in that and just made some black tea. But at least today, I get to have some caffeine-free, yummy tea. <laughs> just went out to Costco and ate some Costco pizza and now I'm getting started on the body so I don't know if I can do three today <laughs> maybe after I finish this I might I might try to do like a really simple one like a really easy no so one date before I go to sleep because I don't think I can finish this slot before then so this is where I am with this sloth <laughs> I don't know he's turning out a little wonky I'm like I don't know why this is pointy here I'm gonna push that in there his eyes are a little bit lopsided that's probably my sewing that kind of got lopsided um all I need to do is add the limbs and a nose and mouth kind of thing and then he'll be done. But man, this yarn that I chose to work with is some work. <laughs> it's, it's so thin and um, because it's so thin and there's a lot of stitches, um, it's like making me put some weird sort of pressure on my thumb and my thumb is hurting so much so yeah i'm kind of sick of this guy <laughs> to be honest <laughs> but yeah so i'm just gonna sew everything on there tomorrow and finish it and then probably try to go for some really easy stuff after after this guy i want to relax a little bit <laughs> so but for tonight i'm gonna go to sleep so, see you tomorrow. Bye. I'm so glad it's finally sunny today. <laughs> and I finished this little guy. He looks nothing like in the post. <laughs> but he's still kind of cute. He's a, he's a little wonky sloth, but... Yeah, and I mean, for what he is, he took way too long, but yeah, because of this setback, I'm going to try to just make some easier ones today. Hopefully, I'll be able to make like three easier ones today altogether, but I do have to go to um, a birthday party tonight, so I may not be able to do three. But yeah, let's aim for two then.
All right, so I took a long time doing other stuff like cleaning the house and stuff in the morning. So I did, I did finish that sloth, but now it's lunchtime. So after lunch, I'm gonna work on this sleepy panda. Um, I think it looks easy enough. So that'll be my first one of the day. I'm not gonna count the sloth as the first one of today because that means yesterday I only did one. So yesterday I did two. Today I'm gonna start after lunch. pretty cute I love this one this one was pretty nice to make and but the bad thing about what I did is I used like a velvet yarn for the black and the little fuzzies are just flying around like pollen in the spring you know but this thing I love the I love the panda it's really great um, let's find a place for it to go now Alright, so next is mini Jigglypuff with this pink again. Let's go. Here's Jigglypuff. <laughs> Let's find a spot for this guy. Yeah. I started liking photos on Facebook. She went over dinky. She, she, thing. she was liking photos on Facebook. Yeah, because oh. I had to. I'm back from the family game night, birthday night thing that we had. And now I'm going to make this little long chicken because it looks really easy. Yeah, to end off the night. So hopefully. If this thing goes fast, if it goes really fast, I might go for number four. Let's work quick. <laughs> this one it looks like a baby chocobo it's so cute let's find another spot for this little guy so it's very late in the night but I'm about to make a very round number 10 <laughs> if I make one more tonight so I am looking at this one which is a bunny because you know I like I said before Easter is this weekend so I think it'd be nice if I finish this video off with a little bunny it has like icing on it it's very cute same um, pattern designer as the long chicken so I'm gonna try to make that one and that'll be the last one for the video. finished my 
and the little guy. Fourth of the day. Well, it, it is already into the next day by now, but fourth of the day. Little sprinkle frosted bunny in honor of Easter. <laughs> She's so cute, I love it. Um, I didn't really understand the little feet at first, but I think the little nubbins <laughs> in the front are the front feet and then the big things on the side are the back feet and it's and she's like laying down on all fours i think that's what it is <laughs> anyway so tomorrow i'm just gonna line them all up and i'm gonna ask my husband to rank all 10 of them in order of cuteness <laughs> But since I gotta go to sleep now, let's find a spot for this little guy in the kitchen for now. So this is Brandon, my husband. <laughs> so you're gonna rank all of these guys in order of cuteness. Let's go like one, two, three, and then six to 10. Okay. Yeah? Okay. You can look at them. We're gonna do it British Bake Off technical challenge style on the gingham altar. <laughs> go. <laughs> okay. Um, all right, this one is my least, I think it's very well done, but not my style. So that's 10. But you wanna rearrange it a little bit? <laughs> How should I rearrange it? Like one through 10, so like 10 would be over there. Okay, so 10's here. Uh-huh. <clears throat> all right. Then I'm gonna go with this guy here. This is ninth. So we'll put him here. Put him there for now. And now it gets very difficult. <laughs> <laughs> they're all cute. I, I'd say they're all cute and these are my, these are cute but not my kind of cute, I guess. Um, I think I gotta go with Sloth Boy here. You're cute, but- Number seven? Too much cuteness, this is eight. Eight, okay. nine, ten. Oh, right. Yeah. right. <laughs> um, cuteness, so this is cuteness. I do like this one, mm -hmm. and I like how it, the icing and stuff, I think it's very well done, but cute-wise, for me, it's about a seven. <gasps> really? I'm sorry. Yeah, That's just, like just one of my top. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, six. This is too difficult. <laughs> six. Six. Right. Alright, but I want to be quick. So, six, I'm going to have to go with... Ah. <sighs> I think I'm gonna have to go with the elephant here. <laughs> this is like a. I'm sorry, bud. This is like a actual game show or something. I know. <laughs> Let's put these here for now. Rearrange. So this is the bottom five. We got ten, nine, eight, seven, and six. Elephant, stand up. Push her down a little bit. Oh, no, she okay. Good. She's good. All right. So top five. All right. Let me just. I gotta take looks. <laughs> this is one of the newer ones. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Haven't really looked at it. Jigglypuff. Cute, cute, cute. Jiggly, so cute. Teacup. All right, five. Oh, it's getting difficult. Five. <laughs> I have to go with the panda. Okay. That's five. Four. Man. Alright, four, teacup. Okay. Teacup, okay. Top is hard. I think I know my one already. Okay. So it's two and three. <laughs> so these are the top three. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> All right, here we go. I'm pick. I'm doing the top three right now. Mm -hmm. Three. Already in its place. Mm. That's <gasps> my choice. Ooh. One, two. <laughs> no. One, two, three, <laughs> four, and five. Mm -hmm. I just can't get over it. I, this face just makes. I can't. It's just so cute. <laughs> is it because it reminds you of a chocobo? Yeah, and it looks like a Twinkie too. Twinkie? <laughs> so, yeah, it does. So, yep. There we go. <laughs> so, that was my husband's ranking, and these are my top three. I think, I think this one. This one is my number one. Oops. <laughs> this one is my number one. The Dandy, the lion. And these guys are just too cute. And then I would say the panda and the elephant are tied on four no, for me. So that is it for today's video. Let me know which one was your favorite and if you will try making any of these because they're all free on Instagram. All the links are down below. Um, as always, thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.